tendency when you hinge cut. This tree is, is leaning in that direction, and the danger, the tree falling back on you while you're cutting. So just imagine this tree is, you know, 10 or 12 inches in diameter. And what I'm going to do is an angle cut. And I'm going to go about as far as we normally would when we hinge cut. So the idea is you want this tree to go in this direction, but if it's a bigger tree, it may fall back on you, and you can put a wedge back in here with a bigger tree. Now, I've cut through far enough that I could pull that tree down right now pretty close to it. I'm going to go just a little further. And Randy, I want you to come around here and take a picture of how far through my saw is on this. And now I'm going to do a flat cut under it. And I'm going to make this flat cut a lot further through than I did the other cut. So it is completely ready to release. And we're going to see which one of these break off. You imagine this is a big tree. And what's happening here is this tree is completely released down here. There's just a little bit of wood holding it. There's a lot more wood holding it up here. It gave first up here on the top. The bottom one didn't even give. Why is that? Because here I was pulling on a lever that's angled down like this and it broke that apart across the grain. Now, Randy, come up here and show how thick that is. This is my holding wood right here. It was almost a third of the tree. Here's my holding wood on the other side. Look at the difference in the amount of holding wood there. Which one broke? The angle cut. The angle cut will always be weaker and break first. And if you're working with a big tree, you could be getting through to where you're only halfway or two-thirds of the way through the tree and it just completely releases on you immediately. An angled cut is extremely dangerous to do. Please follow the recommendations in your chainsaw manual. Get a good book like Jeff Jepson's To Fell a Tree and follow the recommendations of professionals.